this week I've kind of gone and done something and I thought I'd do a whole YouTube video and let you lot know about what I've done, my um, kind of reasoning behind what I've done and yeah, hopefully you don't think I'm crazy and you enjoy the video. The reason for getting a snake was like i've always wanted one um like i wanted one from when i was young like i've literally always wanted a snake i don't know why i just like them i find them kind of fascinating and i'm also a kind of person that likes to do things that are a bit wacky and kind of out there and kind of different so that was like right up my street um i always said like when i get a place and i settle in and i feel like i've got enough space to have a tank in my front room then 100 percent i'm getting a snake so um i moved recently i'm in a new place and i've got enough space so i've decided that i've um well i decided that i was gonna get a snake her name is chicago we call her shy so we got shy town in the house and um she's lovely like she's so lovely i am gonna introduce you to her and um yeah hopefully this video goes okay because um this is my first time putting her on camera i don't know if she's gonna behave i don't know if she's gonna do what she's meant to do etc and um yeah i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit nervous let's see how it goes um basically i'm gonna be taking you on a bit of a vlog with me today because um it's feeding day so i got her on i got her on saturday the 13th so that was the day before valentine's day i got her on saturday um today is now thursday and she's due to be fed so um yeah, I'm about to go to the pet shop shortly to go and buy frozen mice because obviously that's what you feed um, snakes. There's a little bit of an issue because the person who I got her from actually told me that she was on um, the size that are just below an adult mice. But speaking to the pet shop and telling her her size and her age, etc., she was like, no, I think she should actually be a bit um, eating prey that is a little bit bigger than the little um, mice that she's on at the moment so um i'm going to be taking the snake down to the pet shop so that they can actually see her and advise me of what type of mice to give her um this is all new to me i've never had a snake before i've watched loads of videos like literally i've been living on youtube trying to find out about snakes and what to do so you guys are literally seeing me like jumping in at the deep end um I know that they have like different sizes of mice so there's like a chart i'm meant to get and then you work your way up the chart and i do know that after mice you go on to rats so um i am really scared i'm not gonna lie i've got a few things to do today i'm going to pets at home to go and buy um some tongs and the tongs are what you use to hold um the mice in front of the snake so that it can strike and attack and obviously eat um you don't want the snake to miss and bite your hands apparently or um yeah like when they're young sometimes they can't really um what's the word i'm looking for aim correctly so you're meant to use the tongs to help you and prevent you from being bitten um i'm also going to buy a humidity gauge today which goes inside of my tank and the humidity gauge is to basically make sure that it's got the right conditions for the snake to live in having the right humidity etc helps the snake to be able to shed correctly so um yeah and obviously saves it from other things as well like um i think mites and um, respiratory kind of issues so yeah we need to make sure that the humidity and, and the temperature and everything is good in the tank um but yeah i'm just bringing you along with me i've never really done a vlog like this um i bought a new camera but i'm not using it today that's another video i'm gonna do i'm gonna tell you guys about my new camera that i got i'm so excited um i got a ring light now so i'm using my ring light today um the light isn't that great where I am anyway, but yeah, I'm using a ring light today. Hopefully with my camera, it's going to be 10, 10. Girl's going to be looking cute and she, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, guys, just bear with me with this vlog. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but you're on the journey and you're coming with me whether you like it or not. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Hey guys, so this is my tank. Um, we've got a little dish here with some water um, because... She likes to drink water at times and also when she gets too hot, she will come and sit in her bowl and curl up in the um, 
the dish with the water this is her little kind of cave she's probably in there because that's where she spends most of her time there's a heat mat in there that's set to 80 around 86 um degrees or something like that um and that's basically where she will stay and keep warm. She usually stays in there in her hide and like curls up and rests and stuff. There's a log where she can go through. Like a couple other things that are just in here to kind of give her the vibe of living in her natural environment. And um, yeah, we're going to go in and see if we can get her out. She's not in there. Look in there. Can you see? She's not in there. She's not in there. She's in the log. So where is she? Is she, she in the log? Oh, I can see her. She's over there in the log. I can see her around the back. Can you see her? Yeah. No, the camera can't buy you. Okay, I've got my son helping me, guys, with the camera. So you'll be able to hear him. Let's see if we can get her out. Zoom out a bit. Is it quick? Here's Chicago. Say hey, Shy. So this is my snake guys she is 18 months old as i told you her name is shy and she was really shy when we got her home like we had to bring her home in a pillowcase wait a minute hold wait first of all you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said i'll show you a quick video i'll insert it i basically Went to my grandparents' house, my sisters were there. I just said to them, come, we're going on an adventure. And I put them in the car and I took them to Waltham Cross with me to go and collect um, this snake. I didn't tell them until they got in the car. Um, so I kind of forced them to come along with me for the journey because I was scared and I didn't know how I was gonna, meant to transport this snake home. Um, so yeah, I'll put a video in and you'll see what happened. It was quite funny. There was a smell in the car and we thought that the snake had um, done a poo. So um, I don't know if you know, but sometimes they transport snakes in like a pillowcase, like a tied pillowcase. And the pillowcase was just sitting on my younger sister's lap. And um, she was going, anyhow, this thing has pooed on me. But yeah, I'll insert the video and you'll be able to see it. Where's my cross? I stole my sisters and I brought them with me to get the snake. And the snake is inside of the pillowcase and she thinks it's pooed on her. <laughs> she thinks that the snake has pooed on her. I'm fired. So we kind of played with her a bit on the first day, she was fine. She was actually really calm, she was all like over our hands and stuff. The second day, she kind of didn't want to come out the tank, um, so we kind of just left her to it. Um, and then yeah, every day since then she's been out, she's been playing about, she's really calm. Like I specifically got um, a ball python, that's the type of snake I have, a ball python. And I specifically got the ball python because... Um, it's kind of docile, so it doesn't move around as much. I hope my hand it, my hands dry, guys. Don't judge me. My hands dry, but just know it's because I do housework and I wash the dishes. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, and because I've got kids, I wanted them to be able to hold her. I wanted them to be able to, um, you know, basically have a good time with her and be able to hold her without her trying to like sliver away all the time and move too quickly. I also didn't want her to get lost, so um, yeah. I got a snake guys everybody's like oh my gosh how do you deal with it but it's so calm look as you can see she's real calm I put her around your neck she kind of curls around <laughs> but um I, yeah, I, to be fair i had to get used to it guys i wasn't this brave when at first that when i first got her I, I really did have to get used to her but um yeah i'm used to her now so i kind of just can just leave her to do what she's doing 
like she feels like I'm getting a massage at the back of my neck right now because I can feel her body like twisting and stuff but um as I said we need to get her fed today because it's Thursday I'm gonna take you along with us two pets at home um I am actually bringing her along with us like I said um so i'll bring you along to pets at home you can see the tongues and stuff that i buy to feed her and then you can also come along with us to the reptile shop where i'm going to be buying the pet mice um that she needs to be fed and then um hopefully i'll be able to show you guys feeding time like i have no idea how she's going to feed i heard that sometimes they don't really like um, respond well to moving house and stuff and change of environment so we'll see how that goes um excuse me guys you know i'm not used to this stuff sometimes i look at the screen and i'm trying to look at the snake as well and then i'm looking back at you guys so you know bear with me um but yes yeah, so i'm gonna take her i'm gonna take her along with us okay maybe not what is she doing hello what are you doing this is a bit crazy i can't even lie she feels like she's proper squeezing at the back of my neck okay you know what let's 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 i'm getting a bit too comfortable here in life let's let's change let's switch it up a bit <laughs> let's switch it up a bit but yeah um guys you know another thing i've always said i always wanted a snake because i was like i don't really like the whole idea of like other animals being able to catch fleas and having fleas in my house and i was like i know that snakes can get mites but it's very unlikely because i've only got one snake i don't have i don't breed them they won't be on me they'll be in the snake and the snake will stay in the tank until the mites are gone trust me but yeah they don't affect humans they don't like go on clothes and you know like go in your house and stuff like that so yeah that was one of my reasons but yeah guys follow me <laughs> So I'm thinking of possibly getting her a water dish like this where she can go inside of it as well. But I'm not too sure. I do have a skull that came with her, but I don't really like the skull, the idea of the skulls. She's already got logs and all these things. This is the type of stuff that we have inside of her, um, you know, like inside of her enclosure. These are some other water dishes. I don't know what these little insects are for. They're alive, aren't they? Look, for like lizards and dragons. We're literally just here seeing what we get. Um, where's the forceps? Okay, so we've come to pick up one of these. I've done click and collect. Um, so that will tell us the humid humidity inside of the tank. And also, I can't see the forceps. Where are they, the tweezers? I can't see the tweezers to hand. Um, these look like some small feeding toms, but I ordered some really large ones. So hopefully they've got them somewhere for me because they did say that they were available for me to collect. I also need to get some of this in order to clean the tank, I believe. And a spray bottle as well to mist the tank for humidity. So, yeah, guys, we're just having a look around the pet shop. She's just chilling on my hand. We just saw these two little girls that wanted to say hi. But, yeah. Okay, guys, so these are the large metal feeding tongs so you hold the mice with it this is the mice it comes in this packet so this is the mice if you can see just inside of here it's white and furry so this is what we will be feeding it it's frozen if you knock it literally sounds like a stone so yeah this is what we're doing guys <laughs> guys this is terrible so i've just got back in from the pet shop we have um literally been on a little mission so the the idea was to go to pets at home to go and pick up my tongs for feeding um and then basically get the mice there was actually somebody that is based at pets at home and they were able to um like give her a look over and basically see what size mice um, she should have so I didn't have to go to the other reptile shop. I bought the mice for one pound thirty One pound thirty I think it was so Yeah, what I'll be doing is I'm gonna put her back in her enclosure for now. I am going to um, Leave the mice to thaw out 
in the packet i'm not taking it out of the packet once this falls out and it's not frozen anymore um apparently i need to hold it with the tongs dip the head into like hot water so that it kind of gives it the aroma of a live rat and then i have to put it on the tongs and put it in front of the snake for the snake to strike and attack um apparently the old owner used to feed her separately so there's like an idea that if you feed the mice to the snake inside of the tank it can get cage aggression or something along those lines um which means that it will get like aggressive within the tank because it's used to being given the prey inside of the tank so the previous owner used to take the snake out and put her into like a box like a big tupperware box and then used to feed her in there leave her in there for a couple of hours and move her back um through research i've heard that it's not good to do that apparently there isn't any um like known information about the whole cage aggression thing so i don't know if it's really true or if it's just a myth or what people think but they say that it's not good to handle the snake straight after it's been eaten be i mean after it's eaten because you can make the snake regurgitate and bring the mice back up which is something that i don't want to witness so um yeah i'm gonna put her back in let her chill out as you can see she doesn't move she's so calm look she's so cool she doesn't do anything really she just chills we were in the shop and everybody wanted to hold her so she went to like three different people and they had actually never held snakes before so i was quite shocked that they were all right with holding her like that but she's tiny she looks a lot bigger on the camera than she is in real life that's one thing so um yeah we're gonna let her chill out until later when the mice is ready and then i will show you the feeding process because i'm scared i'm not gonna lie i'm real scared so i'm gonna have you guys on deck and you're gonna be with me to see the um feeding process and then hopefully it comes out right hopefully she she eats and everything's okay hopefully she doesn't go on the hunger strike that i hear about apparently ball pythons are really known for having hunger strikes so um yeah let's just hope and pray that everything goes okay but here's my little snake guys we welcome shy chicago so we've got here the large feeding tongs which i am going to open so these are just metal tom tongs press them like this and hold the mice we have the one mice in a packet here one extra large mice and we also have a container that will be used for mice feeding and only mice feeding and will not enter my kitchen again <laughs> maybe i can open this a little bit to show you what it looks like can you see you see the dead mice in there right so this is the mice guys dead as a doornail it is rock hard Have mercy. No, wait, wait, wait. I forgot we've got to dip the head in hot water a little bit. Right, mind. Oh my god, I'm scared you guys. Stay away. Oh, that is crazy she smelt that from a mile away and just came up out of nowhere Let's see if she'll start eating it now. When you, you, you catch me like a rat on the highway. When you, you, you catch me like a rat on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> she 
she's literally just stuck here with the mice she hasn't done anything yet her head is upside down i don't know if you can see her head is upside down and she's just holding it so i don't know when she's gonna actually start to eat it i don't know how long that takes but literally she smelt this mice oh look 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 she smelt this mice and she came up from behind the log and was ready i did jump because i wasn't expecting it to be so quick <laughs> Right, guys so the feeding process is over i hope i've um, got enough for you um literally like it wasn't as bad as it seems i was very scared i'm not gonna lie to you like i said i was real anxious i didn't know how it was gonna be um don't get me wrong when she went for the um the mice on the tweezers i was like oh she i was scared <laughs> i was scared just because i wasn't expecting her to come so quick like literally i opened the door put the tweezers in and as soon as I put the mice inside the um, tank, she could smell it. She could smell it straight away and her little head came up from over the um, log and just attacked. Um, and she fed fine, considering the fact that she doesn't usually get fed in her tank. To me, it seemed like she fed fine. So um, I've left her to it. I don't know how long it takes for her to actually swallow down the mice. I don't know that part. Um, I'm sure that's something that I will find out sooner or later. Right now, she's just literally wrapped around it a little bit more and taking it back behind the log. So I don't know what she's doing back there. I'm sure I will see a big fat lump in the snake <laughs> um, to show that she swallowed the, the, the mice. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy. I did hear that she was a good eater, but I'm really happy because apparently with bull python owners, it can be something that's really stressful for them. And I hear it on videos all the time. So to see that I've got a snake that eats well, um, I'm really excited. The next part that I'll probably come and show you is when my snake sheds. Um, Cause that's like a whole new, and a whole new thing, a whole nother thing that we need to, I need to show you apparently like their eyes go blue before they're about to start shedding their bellies go pink there's all kinds of things that go on apparently so i like i said i've never done this before i'm kind of just going with the flow youtube is my best friend and um literally i'm just trying to like get through the first couple of months and i'm sure after that it will be like second nature do you know what i mean but um once i i haven't seen my snake poo yet which i'm very scared about because i've seen videos and it looks disgusting haven't had to deal with the poo yet um obviously i haven't seen shedding yet as well so yeah those two things are the two things that i'm kind of dreading to be honest i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this but yeah anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video i really hope you did it's something different from me but like i said i'll be bringing you any kind of content that i feel like i want to bring you because it's my channel and if you don't like it, then, you know, keep that to yourself. But anyway, yeah, um, I hope you had a great time on here today, guys. I hope it was very informative. I hope that maybe some of you might want to join the bandwagon and get a snake and we can trade notes. But yeah, um, until next time, take care. Please follow me on Instagram. I do need the followers, guys. Go over to Insta, follow me, subscribe, press the button down below, subscribe to my channel and... Um, yeah, share. Thanks, guys.